Technology is a great human endeavor that has boosted economies, businesses, employment systems, and so much more. Currently in Uganda, we are faced with a lot of challenges when it comes to cyber crimes. Banks are cracked, SMEs, and also personal accounts. We shine a spotlight on what is being done in the space, not only in Uganda, but also on the global scale. Welcome to the show. My name is Fiona Bukuru. Coming up on the show. Uganda, with over 17 million internet users, the country has become increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks, which can range from identity theft and financial fraud to data breaches and cyber terrorism. And in technology around the world, development of new and innovative farming methods, one of which is aeroponics potato farming. Uganda is currently faced with a lot of cyber crimes and little or nothing has actually been done about it. We are at Milima Security, a home of Milima Cyber Academy. These guys are doing murderous things in the country, not only for big cooperatives, but also for career-based people and also small SMEs. We're going to go deep down into what Milima does and how they have boosted the cyber security in the country, but also in Africa, taking it to the global scale. Uganda, with over 17 million internet users, the country has become increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks, which can range from identity theft and financial fraud to data breaches and cyber terrorism. Cyber security is how individuals and organizations reduce the risk of cyber attack, the story of Milima security. So the story of Milima security dates about six years ago, 2016, uh, when we launched a campaign to help organizations build the right capacity around cyber security. Uh, in the late 2000s, we saw an emerging threat of cyber crime hitting various organizations across the region. Mm. Yet at the time, there was limited to no capacity in terms of response uh, to cyber crime. Many organizations, including financial institutions, were losing significant amounts of money. And when you observe, you would find that no one had uh, clear solutions on what needed to be done. There was no capacity in terms of skilling for those who were managing this infrastructure. So eventually the need came to us that we needed to set up something that is local mm -hmm. and reasonable to the Ugandan market mm -hmm. uh, to address this uh, threat. Mm -hmm. Also don't forget that at the time we had uh, a number of, maybe a handful of external uh, providers from South Africa, from India, from the US, uh, Europe, but none existing locally. So in 2016, we launched Milima, Milima Security. And since then, we have been working with various corporations to strengthen their cyber security capacity. Through our penetration testing exercises, which is ethical hacking, we try to find out any weaknesses in the controls, in the configurations, which could potentially lead to cyber attacks. Once we have done this, we advise the organization and they come up with the right remediation plans. Uh, moving forward, we have now focused uh, our work further in how do we then help these institutions stay secure? You see, it's one thing for you to know your vulnerabilities. Yeah. It's another thing to say, okay, now Just today to we have fixed it. How about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So that's where the question around managed security service comes in. So with managed security service program, we are able to provide monitoring and surveillance services on a day-to-day -day basis, supported by our security operations center and a team of security analysts. Through this, we are able to ensure that an organization stays secure. And in the event of an incident, we have an immediate incident response team that quickly fixes the issues and provide a uh, report to the client, but at no extra cost. In today's digital age, cybersecurity has become a critical concern for businesses and organizations in Uganda. Cybersecurity is 
an effort that an organization applies mm. to protect its infrastructure. Mm. Many times whenever you ask a, a CEO, what are you doing about your cybersecurity needs? They'll tell you, oh, we bought antiviruses, or oh, we bought a new router, we hope it will protect us. It's very misleading for you to think that buying the strongest firewall is all that you need to defend yourself. When we talk about an effective cybersecurity program within an organization, we're talking about three fundamental pillars. These are the people elements, the process elements, and the technologies. If you're not addressing people, processes, and technologies all at once and all effectively, you will continue to experience cyber attacks. Mm. What do I mean by people? The users of your systems. Mm -hmm. How equipped are they skill-wise to know how to detect a threat and respond to it? Mm. Have you received an email promising you a green card? Or uh, the Nigerian prince say, I have a lot of money, I've lost my father or the prince in Nigeria, now I want to see how to uh, maybe uh, store it with you temporarily and then I move it somewhere else. We have seen all these scams that are coming in. Some of them look so nice and most of our staff fall for it. What you don't know is that that scam came along with a malware. Malware is malicious software. Yeah. It could be a ransomware. It could be a spyware. It could be a Trojan. Something that can, can potentially damage the organization or lead to financial losses. So the right training for the general staff team is very effective in helping to reduce the risk for the organization. Milima Security has played a leading role in information technology security with businesses, organizations and individuals on their protection from theft, vandalism, phishing and other criminal activities. Summary of our works, one is in security trainings, which are offered through our program under Milima Cyber Academy, where we are offering trainings at corporate level mm. and career-based trainings in cybersecurity and digital forensics. Secondly, we offer work services in security audits, penetration testing, and vulnerability assessment, mm. which is designed to help organizations understand weaknesses in their controls and come out with the right uh, remediation. Mm. Thirdly, we offer services in digital forensics investigation, where we help organizations who have encountered incidents to understand what happened, how do we make sure it does not happen again. Mm. And lastly, we offer services in Managed Security Service Program, which is designed to help organizations provide moni um, uh, receive monitoring and surveillance on a day-to-day -day basis mm. at a very low cost. It is very expensive to invest in the right monitoring infrastructure. Sometimes you find that it costs between 100 to 200,000 US dollars for an organization to just beef up that structure. But we are doing that at a fraction of the cost, helping the organization to stay secure without needing to um, spend all that much money. Security management of organizations and human activities together with digital assets is the main objective of Milima Security. The Managed Security Service Program is where we can provide monitoring and surveillance. And our flagship product for that function is Grey Armor. It is on that note that organizations should develop comprehensive cyber risk management programs with the right combination of people, technology, processes and policies across the organization to address the challenges highlighted above. Grey Armor is a web-based platform that is designed to provide real-time monitoring and surveillance on web infrastructure, mm. helping to find out vulnerabilities and reporting them. At the end, we are supporting this system by using there is a team that is ready to provide an incident response. Mm. So if there are any issues that are discovered on the website and you need our support, you reach out to us for quick support. We try to respond within an hour. When we were designing Grammar, our mind was for the SMEs to make sure that they find it so easy to use 
without no, needing any extra training in cybersecurity. Mm. You see, it is always very taxing for small business owners to invest in security, also to learn about it. But if we could build something that is so easy to use, yet so flexible and so accurate in its work, then we would have solved, we would have met our vision. And that is what we are building behind Grey Armor. Let's go for a short break, but don't go anywhere because we're still digging deeper into cybersecurity, cyber crimes, what can be done and what you actually need to do. On the second segment, we're also going to dive deeper into what the Academy actually does. Can you benefit from this? Stay tuned. <music> 